I'm never able to capture the pigs running and snorting first thing in the morning to come out to greet us. <laughs> oh, they hear me coming and they start running before I can even get the camera over here. You ready for your morning breakfast? There's nothing like a sight of pig excited to see you first thing in the morning. You're drooling. We feed our goats some black oil sunflower seeds and I threw out some of their bedding over here. And look what's growing up, guys. <laughs> look at all these sunflowers. Uh, the seeds must be coming out of the back end of the goats pre-fertilized. <laughs> look at those ones. Uh, so next year, early spring, we're gonna have to do the same thing. The boys are sleeping. You guys over there chewing your cut and napping. They don't want to get up yet. Uh, I can't say that I blame them. You ready, Willow? There you go. Let the pressure build up for a minute. Shut off the pump. Massage the udder. We have two really cool things that we're in the middle of doing right now that I can't wait to share with you guys. One should be any day now. And the next one is gonna be like in a week or so. I <laughs> can't wait. This way, Willow. Nope, there's nothing in the shop for you. Nope, you don't need to go in there. There you go. We're gonna go this way to the babies. Nope, oh, we'll get you an apple. Go for it. Everybody else is already eating on you. I saw a nice looking apple right here, Willow. You want this apple? Want some apple leaves? Good morning, little P. Yeah, good morning. Oh, we got a surprise coming for you, kiddos. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. Just you wait. Morning, Hope. Uh, I need to gas up the chainsaw. A lot of chain oil, too. Oh, I am cutting some notches in the 6x6 post, and it'll be a lot easier to use the chainsaw than it will be to use a circular saw. Alright, let's get a quick reference point. So, 10 feet right here. So, we gotta clean that out. Yeah, that's a cutoff.
<sighs> yep, that's a big one. <laughs> no, it didn't. They're always deceiving. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I do, but I got a bucket full of gravel. Holy moly. Get our first six by six set and we'll check it for level. All right, let's see. 10 feet is gonna put us right there, perfect. In the back. Oops. So if anything, that side's a little high. And then if we do this, this end needs to come up to be level. So we gotta dig this out a little bit more still. I think we're close. You got 10 feet in here, and then 12 feet is gonna bring us here. Okay, so we're where we need to be. I just gotta go cut a notch in one so we can do a half lap over that side and set it down. We'll see if we're level. And then once we get these first ones set, it's gonna be a lot quicker. This is like the foundation, this is what takes a little bit. We need to cut it uh, 12 foot long. I know, those are for the back. These are for the front side. So 12 inches, I got a mark. And one of our viewers sent us up some pencils and some attachments for our impact. We'll be using those when we do the roof. Thanks, Jay. Do they have a pencil sharpener for those? They do. How would it be shaped? It's funky shape. I have one somewhere. They don't always work the best. The knife works best? Yeah. Because they're funky shaped. So even the sharpener that I have doesn't sharpen. It leaves quite a bit of wood still. All right. You bringing Pluto? Yes. So when she next time we see her, she'll be all pretty? Yes. She Sweet. She's ready for a grooming. She needs her grooming before winter comes. Yep. Yep. She'll be happy. She'll she will be. Happy. be. Yes. Jay, you sent these pencils just in time. I hope that's your name. I know the company's Jay. I gotta read the, the letter again. But you sent them just in time. All right.
I need to remove this. So that needs to be gone. Finest detail work. All right, this will tell us how out of level we are. Looks a little high, but not too bad, really. So at the very end, I need to rake out from like there down. Let's check that. That looks pretty close. I swear I've been working while you were gone. It might not look like we did much, but. It doesn't. I know. It feels that way. Exactly the way it, was <laughs> it feels that way too. Tanner's not, happy. Tanner's not happy. He's home alone. We're close. We're so close. Just gotta clean up this front edge a bit. Alright. Watch. No, just watch out for a minute. When we get there, you can. We ain't there yet, unfortunately. Soon, hopefully soon. All right, that way it's good. That way it's good. That's good like that. All right, let's make sure this is still square. I like that. Corner needs to come in a bit. There we go. Let's try that. I like it. I like that. Can't that. Oh, I might need to cut one of these down. These are left over from the barn because we didn't use them for the overhangs. Nope, that would be perfect. I am sure sweaty today. That's what you get the bruise from the other day, I'm sure. Wait, was it, it was his hand, right? What's that? It, yeah. Yeah. I bet it is. So this one, we're not going to be able to go right here because it's nothing. So you'll have to go like back here.
What are you doing? You're in, you, are you inspecting our job? How are we doing? Oh. You coming to give me your gloves that you give when we're outside? Huh? Oh goodness gracious. Did you find a cool spot to hide there, Figaro? Did you find a cool spot to hide? A, a Where's Figaro episode? Right here. Oh. Don't fall off on me now. You got you so close. There you go. So the next question I have for you. Do you have a question for me? I do. Do we want this top one to go the whole length or do you want me to stop it like here? Because the ground's not level. We can go the whole way and just have it here and then the dirt will get filled into like here. You know what I mean? Or do you want to just cut that one back to say here? Go the whole way, cut back. All right, looking at that one, we want to cut that half lap out of here. We got a little damage.
Took longer than I thought, don't it always? But it came out nice. It'll be nice once it's all done. It was really just that beginning part. Yes. And yes, setting everything, getting everything nice and square and level and plumb. So if I have a bruise somewhere here, it's from this. A couple days. Yep. I'll know when it's You'll know why. It didn't hurt last time, it was just a big bruise. Right. That should give us good drainage. Having a stone by it, it'll keep any water away. Not the finished grade, but it's a good start. <sighs> Once we get the building all done, we'll grade off everything. The first six by six post in the back is three quarters of the way buried. The one over here in the front, the first one is completely underground, and the second one's about halfway underground to stay going with the lay of the land. We might have to make a berm or raise that up a little bit so the water doesn't go inside. Let's see. Oh, whole bunch of chickens. Ooh, it's a oh. It's shiny. Freshly laid. Yeah. She just laid it. Oh, the silky left. Fourteen, woohoo! Thank you. Thank you. One of you viewers sent this up. Thanks, Jeffrey. <laughs> CWC. I'll stick it right here on. What do you think? Here or here? Um, the the this yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> I love it. That looks good. Yeah. CWC will always remember her. A lot of people are asking if Gina is on vacation or what's going on because she's in the videos more and more. I am home. I am very blessed and happy that I get to be home with Al and Olivia now. We get to be working together, together. on the channel and a lot of behind the scenes stuff on the channel. Mm -hmm. Been having a lot of stuff going on, but so I've been working on the channel full time for just over a year now. And I work, it's hard because it's homesteading and content with homesteading, but from say 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. for a while, between animals, building projects, video and editing, and thumbnails, titles, replying to comments. And now Gina gets to be home and take off some of the pressure of that for me. And there's more channel aspect stuff that we can be working on. We've been having a lot of viewers asking us for new merchandise. We got a crazy white chicken shirt, and we got a new goat logo shirt, and a couple of new hats. And that was something we've been able to work on mm -hmm. since Gina's been able to be home. 
she's able to focus on different things, free up my time so I can focus on other things. And this shirt was designed by one of y'all, so thank you for that. We love the Crazy White Chicken Memorial shirt. So there's a lot of different aspects now. Right, a lot. Um, part of what I've been doing is a lot more of the cooking. Um, that helps give you more time too. Yeah. Um, but you will cook some I will too, cook. But, we all um, love cook. We both enjoy cooking. We've always been, whoever's home from work first is the one who cooks. Because we get hangry. Yeah. And we like to eat like at five, yeah. before six o'clock. We're not, if we haven't eaten five before six o'clock, we really get hangry. So it's <laughs> always been whoever's home from work first or whoever's home is the one who does the cooking of the meals. Right. So for the last, I don't know, three, four years, it's been primarily me because whether it was the YouTube channel or my other jobs that I had, I was the first one home. Right. In Massachusetts, when we lived there, you were doing most of the cooking. Yep. When we lived in Vermont, it was 50-50 probably. And I don't think I ever really enjoyed cooking then because it was more, I had to get home, I just got home from work, and I got to do that now. Like, I'm still working, but I can be like, the night before, I can sit down and figure out what I want to do, and it's more, I can take my time to prepare it and do it, and it's not like, overwhelming as much so not not every day is like that but most days it's it's more, more enjoyable more enjoyable have more time help, um hope to try to get olivia more she enjoys and, olivia and enjoys cook. cooking not that she doesn't enjoy it but get her um wanting to do more and uh i think one of her challenges and it's a challenge for our families we're short <laughs> <laughs> so especially for her right now she's she's actually better now she's grown but when she was littler it's hard to get them into cooking. She doesn't right. want to use a stool. No, she she has like stool. five stools around the house. We see that comment all the time. Get her a stool. She don't want to use them. No, she, and I don't blame her. She's a big girl and she, she, she wants to feel like yeah. her. So our family is vertically challenged. <laughs> yes. yes. We all are. With Gina being home, one of the things she wants to learn is how to video edit. So that's one of the things we're going to be transitioning to. Yes. So I'll be teaching her how to edit here shortly and I don't know how we're gonna do it. I think at first we're gonna be trying to add some bonus videos. Yeah. That like Gina's some gonna some smaller things. Some smaller video projects that Gina will be editing to learn that way, and then we'll, yeah. And then so we'll be some bonuses, or maybe you just skip the bonus <laughs> because I didn't know. <laughs> and then we'll be teach... he'll proof he'll proof it. <laughs> we'll be transitioning into the other videos. They're longer, so they take they can take me. I would say three to four to five hours, depending on a video from editing re-editing, going through them, added in music. So if we can start on smaller projects, it'll right. be better. And I'm also, you know, helping out with, I enjoy doing mowing the lawn and weed whacking or weed trimming, whatever you guys call that. Um, more time cleaning, with the animals. Yeah, more time with the animals and cleaning the barn and... Um, Building. It's been fun being able to build with you. Yeah. It's nice having a second set of hands when we're building a project. I can't wait to have more baby goats and I'm gonna spend so much time. With can't wait. Not that I don't spend time with the goats now, but like when you have the baby ones and just so that they get used to you and like I wanted to be there all the time on um, last year and I did as much as I could, but I hope to right. um, get them You'll more acclimated to people. We want to get more into making goat's milk soap and more items of the goat's milk, but that'll be something. Right, we want to learn that. Learn more probably this winter and get more into doing that kind of stuff. That's one of the main things we have the goats for. I want to stop making goat's milk soap, but that's still just a process. There's transition and processes and learning for everything. So there's a lot of different parts and pieces we want to put together with the homestead, whether it's the homestead or with YouTube or making content. So there's more content we want to make for YouTube and other aspects. So there's some different stuff we've been thinking about, but with it just me being here on the channel, I wasn't able to do that. So now we'll have more time to do that. Yeah, we feel very blessed we for all of you. We are very blessed. You guys are a huge for blessing us. for us in the homestead. So we thank you for all of your support, for watching the videos and taking the time to watch the videos. It really means a lot to us. And if it wasn't for y'all, we wouldn't be doing this. We're very blessed to be able to stay home and work out of our homestead. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments down below. And on the our about page also has our email address. If you want to send us an email with questions, you can shoot them to us that way. So thank you. If you guys want to see some of the other merchandise we just made, I'll have a link in the video description down below. 
One of the things I like, love about this hat, it's a cool fit, but then when we got it, I found out it's organic and it's eco-friendly. So I thought that was kind of cool. It's the only item we have in the store that's that way. So I was pretty excited about that. The merchandise is a third party vendor. So we came up with a website. They make all of our merchandise. They make it to order so it can take up to 10 days to print the shirt. And then they ship them out. So they handle everything. We're excited for this aspect to see. We want to add some more different merchandise. But we'll do that later on. We want to see all the new shirts, designs, and everything go. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye. Bye. And if Al starts looking skinny, it's not because I've been cooking. <laughs>